What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jobbers and Goons and today we have another battle swap video. This one, shout out to my boy Funny Guy, is also sponsored and it won the polls. Rare occurrence to be honest. And this is, what if Tony Stark and Lex Luthor swapped battles? If you're new to this series, first of all, after this video, go check out all of the battle swap series. But this is where we take battles from their history and put the other character in their shoes to determine who wins. Real quick, run the likes up. Let's try to get this to 300 plus. Even if we've crossed 300, smash the like button anyway because it helps my videos get seen. Helps us hit the algorithm. We're doing a lot better now as a channel since the likes have been going up because views and subscriptions are going up. Tell everybody you know to like and subscribe to the boy. We're on the road to 30K. Check out my Discord. We do games, prizes, D&Ds, giveaways, and more. We currently have debate tournaments going on that have been awesome. Definitely check it out. Now, getting back to this. We're going to do 10 battles from each side. And what I'm going to do, introduce the battle in question and explain how I think the character does in that particular situation. Make sure to get active in the comments in terms of letting me know your opinion on the topic. Without further ado, let's begin. So... First, we're going to be putting Tony Stark through the ringer of the 10 battles from Lex Luthor. So let's see how this goes down. First off is Brainiac. This is a weird one. I personally, if you were to put a gun to my head and you said, could Tony Stark match Lex Luthor as a hacker? Not is he as smart as Lex. I do think Lex overall is a little smarter. But do I think he could match him hacking? Yeah, I do. And the reason that's important, at least in my opinion, is because the way the battle broke down at one point in one of the collisions between Brainiac and Lex is Lex got into a hack off with uh, the boy Brainiac, which, by the way, was funny as fuck. I plan on doing a Lex, another Lex goon video soon because he he I forgot how funny he is. I, I realized that going through for this video. But he outhacked Brainiac, and I feel like in a similar setting, Tony takes it, albeit with major difficulty given the absolute brilliance that's literally on another level from Brainiac. As a result, I'd give it the Tony highest of difficulty. By the way, I do want to address this real quick. A lot of people, not a lot, a few people have commented like, hey, why aren't the breakdowns super long? Like, I don't feel like you did a bunch of power scaling in this video. I've been scaling these characters for years. And you should definitely go check out my other content on all these characters. And simply put, doing a complete br breakdown for every battle, this video would be several hours long. We're not doing that shit. Fuck that. That's not the move. We're, we're going like this. People tune in to hear my takes on the battles and my thoughts on it. Not necessarily in-depth power scaling for each one, because that's crazy. Have some fucking mercy on the kid. But let's move on. Dark. Supergirl, clean up on aisle Tony motherfucking Stark, because this is a rough battle for you guys. I'm not going to hold you. This is a Supergirl who can brawl with Wonder Woman, take down an amped suit of Lex Luthor, body Flash, body Martian Manhunter, body Jon Stewart. It was bad. Go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman. And it's an uninhibited, pissed-off Supergirl. Rolling up on Iron Man, the problem here... This shit's gonna go down like it did for the other ones that got bopped. Like, Iron Man's not gonna know Dark Supergirl wants his fate. She's just being a bitch. So, he's gonna get jumped, and with her stats and the way she fights and the way she tears people apart, hell no. That random encounter is not going good for my boy Tony. He's getting done like she did that bitch Lex. Ooh, he loses this one. I am sorry. Next, we have Superman. So, as you guys know, Lex Luthor, eternal beef with Superman. This is a bit weird, because, you know, there's a narrative behind that. Here's Tony Stark showing up. Superman's clearly going to know he's human. This initial encounter, especially if it's not current Superman, we're talking like post-Crisis, New 52, other versions, that Superman's going to not toy with Iron Man, but go back and forth. And I see Tony giving him a good battle. Uh, however, Superman is more than capable of taking down Iron Man in a random encounter. In fact, like he could low-key do him as dirty as Thor did. 
Superman's not as liable to do him how Thor did. It would take more to build up to that. But if it does get there, Superman takes it. Next, we have Sun Dipped Superman. This Sun Dipped Superman came back, was pissed off, started tearing through war suit Lex. I will say this. Lex prepped, had a war suit, was ready to go, right? You let Iron Man cook, dog. You drop Tony off there. You say, look, a brick of kryptonite can get rid of a Kryptonian a week. Fucking cop the package. He's doing that shit. No doubt. No doubt. He's in selling that right away. The solar energy based shit. No doubt. He's comfortable with that. Like, he's going to pull through for sure. So, I think with prep, with just strictly talking battle suits. I think Tony's a little better than Lex at that. I think Lex is smarter overall, but like I said with tech, I think Tony's a little better. He's already encountered Superman. He's gonna have prep. There, the difference between Lex too is like Lex was doing hood rat shit that pissed off Superman. It's not gonna be the same case here with Iron Man. Even though he's amped, he's not gonna be pissed at Tony. Tony's not gonna have done the same shit, but it still will be a powerful Superman. I think Iron Man, funny enough, has a better chance to take him down and probably does just because he has prep. Just because he has prep. I see him taking him down. Next, we have current Superman. This is a rough one. I, I don't see Iron Man getting past this. I'm going to be real with you guys. Even if he pulled up, hit him with the same, like, you know, erasure thing that Luther did. Luther literally hit that motherfucker with a bomb to erase him from existing. And he came back and said, yeah, everything's irrelevant to me. I scale above everything you've seen from superman so far it was rough it was a rough day for lex fans and it would be a rough day for iron man fans this is just a superman with too much scaling we need to get out of here guys tony stark takes the l next we have alexander luthor well luthor is absolutely brilliant was able to tech and go toe to toe with lex tell him to get the fuck out the trenches because i think tony's gonna do him way dirtier than lex did Way dirtier than anyone else did. This is going to be... We're talking about a war suit matchup. We're talking about a tech versus tech. Who brings a better fucking suit to the battlefield? Luther is not outdoing Tony in this situation. Especially they're accessing the same shit. Fuck no. I got Tony winning that suit battle. I'm sorry. Mid, mid to high diff maybe. He's going to out tech Alex when it comes to the standoff. Next we have Ultraman. Ultraman's a fun one. Obviously has the stats to be an absolute menace going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of Tony. But Tony, if given a little bit of prep, can stand against him. And here's a big fucking difference between Ultraman and Superman. One, Superman's obviously stronger, even though Ultraman's like an evil, evil type. But Ultraman, Tony's not going to give a fuck if he dies. <laughs> Look at this jackass. He's going to put him on a t-shirt. Tony will definitely kill a terrorist. That's what Ultraman is. I just see Tony going all out trying to catch a body. Probably does. High difficulty. Ultraman. Next, we have a blood lusted Barry Allen. This is, ooh, this is rough. You see, I will be the first one to tell you Flash is a jobber, Flash is a bum. However, we would be considering at this point a pissed off, blood lusted Flash. We drop Tony in. All Tony knows is he has pissed off Barry. Barry is trying to kill his bitch ass. It's rough. That's a that's a rough day in the neighborhood for uh, Tony. I actually see him losing the bloodlusted Barry. Now, if we were to give him prep, that's interesting. Could Tony master the speed force and absolutely out prep it? Let me know if you think he could in the comment section down below. But right now, if you were to put me on the spot. I would probably favor a bloodlusted Barry Allen. Rip the next matchup because the kids are getting boloed. We have the Bat Family. I'm sorry, not everyone can be built like them kids off Yancey Street. The Bat Family is formidable. The Robins, Oracle, all that. They have great tech. Um, they're great fighters. Cool. Iron Man's going to do them bitches dirty. There's this one uh, time in the classic comics where Iron Man ran into Kraven and just need him in his shit. And that was it. Wasn't a fight. That's how he's doing the Bat family. He's just going to walk through and slap the fuck out of all of them and get them get them right mentally. Just like, hey, calm down. I'm the big dog. 
Now, last for his bracket, we have Gorilla Grodd. This is interesting, obviously, both formidable, uh, physically can contend with, I guess, what we would colloquially call Herald Tears. Um, on top of this, Grodd has his incredible psychic abilities and is brilliant in its own right. This is an interesting one. However, he's nothing Tony hasn't stood against. Tony's modern suits as well, obviously, have built-in tech to go against the likes of psychics. Everyone is constantly basically prepping for Emma Frost to try to mind hack their shit, and they always stop her. Am I saying Grodd's below Emma? No, I'm just saying you could argue them relative for sure. And there's plenty of evidence Tony can nag those levels of telepaths. So he probably takes it mid to high difficulty. Now let's see how the boy Lex does if he's forced to take up Tony's battles. Now for Lex Luthor, if we put him over in the shoes of, of Tony, what's going down? First one classic Silver Surfer. It's a bit weird because Surfer isn't as prone to the insane scaling back then. However, he was a little more feral. And more willing to beat your ass so his initial encounter which would be random with luther trying to absorb the power cosmic into his suit which is basically how iron man tried to counter him and it knocked him out but it also knocked surfer out i don't see lou uh lex doing that right away I'm not quite sure if he would know to do that right away i see this being a drawn out fight but classic silver surfer probably takes it just because at that point, Lex without prep probably wouldn't know how to address dealing with Surfer. Next, we have Fing Fang Foom. I have a little bit of respect for Fing Fang Foom. Obviously, the massive monster. Iron Man has been forced to take him on before, but so has Fat Cobra. Um, I, I don't see Lex really having much of an issue with Fing. Uh, even though he's been able to like battle some Herald tiers before, Lex has seen way stronger dealt with way stronger and he's gonna do this monster fucking dirty i see him winning low to mid death next we have hulk here's the problem with the matchup with hulk and here's why it's kind of interesting lex luther yes obviously if he finds out the makeup and composition of hulk there are ways for him to prep and fuck up hulk in a random encounter no hulk is beating his ass i'm sorry that's a bad matchup for Lex. Lex doesn't do too hot with people that want to fuck him up and are strong enough to do that. So with him pressing him, like when Dark Supergirl did that shit to him, he was like, whoa, oh shit, this bitch is crazy. That's how Hulk is going to do him. And I see that being a big advantage for Hulk. And as a result, Hulk would win. Now next we have Green Scar. This one's a lot harder to answer. Why? Because this does involve prep. Iron Man did have prep. He built both armor and weaponry to take down Green Scar. Now, could he beat Green Scar with this? Yes, he could. He does make weapons and techs that literally send you beyond space and time, erase you from space and time. Even if he doesn't kill Green Scar at this point, prepping and knowing what he's dealing with, to at least some extent, he would, at bare minimum, BFR. World War Hulk wouldn't have encounter to get getting completely removed from all of space and time. Next, we have Thor, the God of Thunder. Especially in modern times, this is a, a shitty matchup with Lex because the weaknesses of Thor, Lex won't really have a counter to, especially in a random encounter. Because, you know, what the playbook might tell you, depending on the era, is, oh, separate him from his hammer. Um, oh, somehow make him unworthy. That would really be reliant upon mystic properties and mystic works rather than what someone like lex would be able to do with tech and the fact that lex is a piece of shit we saw what thor did to iron man when iron man was talking crazy i think he does lex worse and beats up lex next we have the infamous doctor doom now here's the problem i'm gonna talk my shit here's the problem for lex luther luther fans let me know if you disagree name one fucking category lex has over doom Name one. The problem, you can't. Doctor Doom drips harder in every category that matters. As a result, I do genuinely feel Doctor Doom would have Lex outmatched in pretty much every way and fashion. Would get the drop on him and could do him dirty in a variety of fashion. And he would. I think he takes down Lex Luthor. 
Next we have Iron Patriot. This was Norman Osborn, especially known during the Siege era and having Dark Avengers. He was a pseudo Iron Man, also leader of S.H.I.E.L.D. and led the Dark Avengers. Very capable, very intelligent. However, I didn't, I wasn't that crazy impressed with Iron Patriot. I think he puts up a really good battle. But Luther is probably better at the suit shit than Patriot is, in my opinion. And after a pretty good battle, I do feel like he would take down Patriot, especially if we put him in that position where Iron Man is there to get his get back. If Lex is coming through to get his get back, yeah, he might he might do Patriot real dirty. He takes the win. Next, we have Sentry and Void. This is a weird one. Obviously, Lex is tough. However, we're not really giving him prep here. Iron Man didn't really have prep turns around. Sentry's losing his shit. He's let loose. Asgard is falling. We put Lex in that situation. What the fuck is he doing? He's going to look at that and say, whoa, ho. I don't want it that bad. I don't even know those Asgardians. Y'all got it. Joke, jokes aside, though, Sentry's really hacks, really volatile, and especially in the same battle position uh, Iron Man was put in, I see Lex possibly getting cooked. I see him losing here. Next, we have Terax. Terax is a bump. I don't care if he's a herald. I don't care if he has mob ties to Galactus. Fuck off. He's trash. He doesn't have any great wins that you know of. Gets beat up by everybody. Lost in seconds to Sentry. Got thrown out of the solar system by Iron Man. Lex Luthor doing him way dirty. Probably cuts his head off and takes a selfie with it to send a message. It would be bad. He does him dirt. Terax loses. Get that bum out of here. Last on the list of ops, we have Red Hulk. Now, this isn't easy. Red Hulk was crazy was trying to fight watchers pulling up on watchers fighting thor fighting hulk fighting iron man fought a lot of people iron man did pretty well especially when accounting for like pretty much prepped against hulks given this isn't bruce banner's hulk lex would probably even be more so inclined to go for the kill this is a tough one i could see lex losing this one but if he's prepping he could probably take down red hulk but if he doesn't have prep Red probably takes them. Now, having reviewed both catalogs, both battle lists, who do I think does better during the swaps? I had a lot of fun doing this, and I think a lot of these matchups were interesting given the scenarios and what they'd be allowed to do and couldn't do. Still, I'm not quite sure either one has a notable or decisive edge in how they performed. Both had losses, both had easy wins, both had complicated scenarios. Um, Tony might have done a little better, I guess if I was forced to say, but it, they both still had losses, wins, and it was an interesting comparison. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What battles did you agree with, disagree with? How do you see this going down? And which characters should I battle swap Next, of course, you could always just straight up purchase a battle swap. Hit me up on Discord to talk prices. But yeah, anyways, it's been your boy Jobbers and Goons. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.